Greetings, kitties. Chronic Horror in the house again. Today's guest, Harry Soul Man. Here's your host, Josh Milliken, my lord and savior. Mr. Munchies, <laughs> we'll talk later. Welcome to Chronic Horror, the intersection of horror movie fandom and cannabis culture. Today's guest is a very sexy, very hairy, very soulful man. We'll be uh, enjoying some treats from my favorite homicidal homemaker, Casey Hansen, and we'll be watching a classic horror movie that features another exceptionally sexy and hairy man. It's Chronic Horror! Let's blaze! definitely our most unique guest to date. Help me in welcoming Harry Soul Man. Well, hello. Hello. I'm uh, pleased to make your acquaintance. Absolutely. It's uh, fantastic to be here. Well, we're, we're really thrilled to have you. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. We're gonna get high. We're gonna have some munchies. Mm. And we're gonna watch a classic horror movie, The Fly, from oh, 1986, oh, oh. directed by David Cronenberg and starring Jeff Goldblum, who is also a hairy, he soulful is man. One of my heroes. Really? Sweet Goldblum. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. That guy does no wrong. I was first introduced to you at the Arkansas Craft Beer and yes. Horror Movie Festival. Uh, one of your videos played. Now, I hesitate to call it a video. You are a musician. Mm. You are singing. It is your song. Yeah. But the things that you produce are on the level of cinema. Oh, uh, thank and you, the dude. first uh, film of yours that I saw was How Deep Can I Go? <laughs> How Deep Can I Go? I might have some fans wondering, what is this hairy soul man doing on a show that's about horror? Yeah. It has horror in the title. Um, you go to some dark places. Absolutely. In how deep yeah. can I go? Yeah. The reason why I, I wrote it was because, especially uh, some love songs, go really deep. Mm. And they, like, I, like, they start talking about how I need you and I can't have anyone else. And it seems like the subtext means that they might keep them in a box or in a basement of some kind. You know what I mean? Like some love songs, you're like, okay, you're getting really heavy on the, I need you to be here. And if you leave, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. So, so I started thinking, well, maybe how about I write a song that's a love song, but with the context of what I think these songs you know, yes. how deep these songs go. But you aren't afraid to address the real life horrors of humanity. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, do you enjoy horror cinema? I do, I I, uh, I must admit I'm a slight uh, scaredy cat mm. when it comes to some horrors. Mm. Realistic horrors, I, I do have nightmares about. Mm. I have an imagination. My imagination is quite crazy. But, uh, but classic horror? Mm. I mm. love it. Mm. Let's not waste any more time. Absolutely, dude. Let's get high. Okay. But I have a little friend who I turn to when I like to imbibe, and she gives me a hand. So allow me to introduce Miss Thang. Miss Thang, are you home? What's up, lovely? Always good to see you. Uh, say hello to our very sexy guest, Mr. Harry Soulman. Oh, a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you're making me look bad, Home Slice. Hey. Gonna be nice. I, I guess so. Now I, I I know what makes you such a ladies' man. Now I heard, uh, Mr. Uh, Harry Soulman, that you've been feeling a little depressed. I'm so depressed. I don't even know if I can go on. So what I would like to prescribe is a nice bright sativa hybrid. Miss Thing, do we have any more of that OG Mota? 
That's fantastic. It's magically stocked. Yes, oh, wow. we do. Mm -hmm. From Mota, which stands for Medicine of the Angels, they grow their own, and uh, this will be very nice. I'll let you hold that for me a second. Oh, thank you, sir. Since you're such a do-it-yourself kind of guy, I thought we would do it ourselves and yeah. make our own pipes out of apples. That sounds fantastic. You only need a few things. Miss Thing, one bright red apple, please. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Some nice thick sewing needles. Do you have a pen for me, please, Miss Thing? Fantastic. Cheers. What you got there is nature's bowl. Then you take your needle or toothpick. If it is a needle, make sure it's a very thick sewing needle. And I like to make around six holes around the perimeter of the top. Uh, maybe a, a little smaller than the size of a quarter. You're gonna wanna connect all these holes down in the body of the apple, in the core. So you do this by inserting your needle or toothpick at an angle. Then you just take your pen. Uh, it has to be one that can be hollowed out. Ballpoint pens are perfect. Just pick your spot and you stab it through in a way that's going to connect it to the holes that you've drilled down. You can take the pen out. Sometimes it'll pull out a little extra material and you can just blow it out like that. And what you're gonna wanna do is put the big end right through to the middle and that's it. You ready to light this up? Absolutely. Some common side effects of consuming cannabis. Mm. Um, dude, bro bonding. Yes. Uh, I'm course. feeling exceptionally close to you right As now. am I. Uh, red eyes, uh, another yes. common effect. Another very common and pleasant side effect of cannabis is munchies. Oh, yes. And it's especially pleasant when you have a homicidal homemaker cooking up some Ooh. delectables for our consumption. <laughs> Hi Josh, I am whipping up an ooey gooey and chewy treat just for you and your guest. I'm making my strawberry raw meat treats. These are so quick to put together and they're the perfect munchy treat. These only take a few ingredients and a few minutes to put together and they're perfect for enjoying while you watch the fly. And you don't need to throw up any enzymes to digest them. For this recipe you need two cups of miniature marshmallows, a fourth a cup of salted butter, three ounces of strawberry gelatin powder, and three and a half to four cups of crispy rice cereal. Once the marshmallows and butter are completely melted and smooth, add in the strawberry gelatin powder. Mix until the gelatin powder is completely dissolved. After the gelatin has completely dissolved, add in three and a half to four cups of rice cereal. Now these marshmallows are sticky, so you're gonna get a little bit of an arm workout. And you just wanna mix until the marshmallow mixture has completely coated all of the cereal pieces. Okay, my arm's already hurting. <laughs> now to serve this, you can either shape it into meat patties or body parts, but I like to just plop it onto a styrofoam tray and uh, it really freaks people out because they think it's actually raw meat. All right, we've definitely got a major case of the munchies. Casey, come on down. What you got? Hi. Hey, Casey. How are you guys? Good. Welcome Good. back. It's a pleasure as always to have Thank you. you. Uh, this is my esteemed colleague, uh, Mr. Harry Soulman. Very nice to meet you. A pleasure. Fantastic. She's uh, prepared some delectables for us. I, I don't even know what it is, so. Well, how hungry are you? Because I know you wanted me to cook something up, but I may have forgot mm. to actually cook it. Yeah, that looks a little raw, a little uh, fleshy and bloody. That's okay, because it's actually Rice Krispie treats that look mm. like raw meat. Are you ready to dig in? It's gonna get a little sticky, but we're already enjoying your fruit, so I think you guys probably have some sticky hands yeah, already. I think we're so. ready to have some <laughs> meat with our fruits, and uh, since we'll be watching the fly, and flies love raw meat, I think we should uh, get our fly on. Sounds fantastic. And dig in. 
Uh, to you, to your health. Of course. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Mmm. It's addictive. Yeah, it's very nice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. We're about to dive into David Cronenberg's classic horror remake, The Fly, starring Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis. Are you ready? I'm absolutely ready. All right, let's bug out. <laughs> Sorry, I have three other interviews to do before this party's over. Yep, they're not working on something that'll change the world as we know it. They say they are. Look at that fucking mullet. Beautiful. Oh, 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 that's oh. not Mr. not great, Mr. Cronenberg. It certainly what wasn't what he wanted. Yes. Out of the experiment, I don't think. Uh, you can actually go to YouTube and find a deleted scene from The Fly. Oh, wow! And in this scene, Jeff Goldblum fuses a monkey and a cat. What comes out is nothing short of a monstrosity. But back to The Fly, which yeah. is a very disturbing movie. Yeah. Oh! Ugh. Eats like a fly. Now oh. that's love right there. That is love. When you look at that face and then hug it, that's mm. love. Not oh. what you want to see. That is not, not what you want to see. No. Mm. It's, uh, I mean, you Hey, know. at least there's no umbilical cord, right? Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> Here's where he's about to puke on Mr. Bad Guy. Oh. He's there. Oh, vomit as a weapon. Oh, there goes There's your jaw. The this is the final smirk. reveal. Oh, it's like what was left of his face is gone. And look, it's like he's like, just do it, Gina. Just do it. Oh, oh. What a great film to revisit. I'm really happy you were here to uh, Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Harry Soulman, I can't thank you enough for coming out and being my guest tonight. I'd like to give you a few parting gifts. Oh my. Uh, these are some recent films from Dread. First, we have Extremity, a film about extreme haunted houses. Oh my. And next we have the Golem, a period horror piece steeped in Jewish mysticism. Oh my. Enjoy those. Well, I have a gift for you, Sam. Oh, what I am just uh, finished my new album. <laughs> and I must say, it's sexy. Well, I certainly hope everyone checks out How Deep Can You Go and the entire Harry Soul Man album. Is there any way you would grace us with a song before you go? <laughs> If you insist. Oh. Fantastic. Right. Here we go. Go easy on me. I don't usually play my music while stirring. Mm. Hey. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I'll no. start again. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the exact thing just then. I started in the wrong spot. Ah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. Well, that's going to do it for another episode of Chronic Horror. I want to thank Casey Hansen, the homicidal homemaker, and our very special guest, Harry Soulman. Take it away. Bye-bye. I love this song. I just need you to know. You're so sexy when you walk down my street. Yeah. I can see you, but you, you can't, can't see, see me. me. I crave your body, every single piece, every single bit. Individually wrapped in plastic bags in my fridge. Oh, oh baby, baby. you know, I desire. Oh, like when I watch my parents burn in a blazing fire. 
issues. Oh, to me, you're like a piece of art. I'll make you my Venus de Milo by cutting off your limbs and covering you in plaster, baby. baby. I just need to know how, how deep can I go? I saw that in a movie once. That's where I got the idea. Media influence. Baby, why aren't you talking no more? You look so lifeless on the cage floor. She's dead. I bet I never, never really know. How. Wow, is that guy the bong or what? <laughs> Uh, I'm really trying. I'm not just gonna let this one play out. He's so goddamn handsome.